UPSC always stays one step ahead from us when it comes to civil services exam or APFC exam. If you want to win the war against UPSC, then it's important, pertinent that you catch up with their idea of the examination. If you want to do that, merely relying on 2015 UPSC APFC paper will not be enough. Why? It's been eight years since that exam was happened. Therefore, what has changed in these eight years when it comes to how UPSC likes to ask questions, what areas does it like to ask questions from, what kind of questions does it like to ask, all that shall be discussed in detail. In this video, I want to talk specially about the detailed syllabus of APFC exam. Now, you might feel that this is just like another video on YouTube where I am talking about the syllabus as mentioned by APFC in 2015 based upon the paper that happened in 2015. No, I will be talking about two things here. Number one, the syllabus that you know for the APFC examination and secondly, the syllabus that you ought to know. Remember, UPSC always tries to stay one step ahead from its students and therefore a lot of students fail to clear the examination. The students who are smart enough to understand what UPSC might be interested in, they are the ones who succeed. The second part of the syllabus, that is the syllabus that you ought to know, will be decoding that special part of the syllabus. So let me start first of all with the syllabus that you know. Because this is a background information and this is like the platform that you need to cover if you want to clear the examination. If you focus only on the second part, only then also you will fail. But if you focus only on the first part, then also there are high chances that you will fail. You have to first focus on the first part and then you have to move towards the second part. That is the syllabus that you ought to know. Let's first try and understand that the syllabus that you know and you must be finding a lot of videos about this on YouTube as well. I will also be providing the same, but at the same time, I will also try and cover these topics from a different dimension so that you have better clarity and better understanding of what kind of subjects are asked in the exam. We start with the most important ones and then we move towards the least important ones. The first one is economy, which is highly scoring almost 20% questions came from economy last time APFC was held. Second, we have maths and stats, the most important. Last time, almost 25% questions came from maths and stats. This holds importance also because APFC is about provident fund, which requires a lot of understanding of statistics as well. And that is the reason that they ask questions from maths and stats. Now, no one will tell you this. Everyone will be like, maths and stats is important, so you cover it. I'm telling you the specific reason behind asking more questions from statistics because provident fund may you have to deal with a lot of numbers. You have to try and determine the best possible provident fund number for every individual when it comes to EMIs or anything at all. And that is where a lot of statistics comes into play. So if you're a student who has at all heard about actuarial science, that is an examination held specifically for insurance companies wherein a lot of statistics is involved. This is the specific reason that you have a lot of questions from maths and stats and that might stay the same because of the need of the examination. The third one is constitution and governance. This is also a good topic where about 5 to 10 percent questions came from constitution and governance. Governance has been graining ground because of the focus of the government as well and therefore more questions can come from governance this time. The next one that we have is history. Now, normally students find it easier to cover modern history, find it more difficult to cover ancient and medieval history. I will be focusing equally on all the three and even more on ancient and medieval because I'm expecting that UPSC will ask more questions from ancient and medieval because that is the trend that we have been witnessing in civil services exam as well and it might stay the same in APFC exam as well. The next one that we have is accounts and auditing. The best way to cover topics related to commerce is to pick up ICAI material or ICSI material. 
I have already covered that in a separate video. That video is also available in the description. In case you want to have a detailed understanding of the weightage of these topics, that is also available in a separate video. The link of that is available in the description. You can click on that and watch that video after you're done with this video as well. That will also give you a good understanding as to what is the weightage and importance of each subject. The next one is industrial relations and labor laws. And why is it asked? Number one, because you're dealing with provident fund, which is a social security program kind of a thing. Therefore, labor laws become important. Industrial relations become important. The source and the books for this subject has been discussed in another, another video. Uska bhi maine link description mein dal diya hai. You can have a look at that. Iske baad aata hai insurance. Now this all is, all, all of this that I'm discussing right now is very obvious. Ye tum aapko karna hi karna hai cover. Iske alawa second part cover karenge jis mein things or syllabus that you ought to know. I will be covering that separately after this. Insurance is the seventh one. Again, you will not find a lot of books on this, but jo bhi books hai, jo bhi sources hai, jo mujhe mile hai, jo achche hai, I put that in another video that is available in the description. Is video ke baad wo dekh sakte ho. After this, we have computers. Yahan se bahut basic questions aate hai, bahut zyada nahi aate hai. So you can dedicate probably two, three days maximum on something like computers. Then we have English. This again is the easier part. If you are uh, fine with basic, basic vocabulary, fine with uh, basic English, then you should be able to tackle this area. The last that we have is current affairs. Now this is very important. Iske maine bahut sare sources aapko bataye hain in another video. You can refer to that. But yahan se kaafi questions aate hain. Especially for subjects like economy, constitution, history. Ye bhi ho gaya jo agar labor laws, insurance. Yahan pe current affairs ka role thoda sa bada jata hai. Now this is all. A total of 10 topics I believe. That cover the entire syllabus that you know presently. कुछ लोग इसको 11 में बता रहे हैं कुछ 13 में बता रहे हैं मैं इसको थोड़ा कंप्रेस करके बता रहा हूं सो दैट इट बिकम्स इजीयर फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर इट ओके सो दीस आर 10 सब्जेक्ट्स दैट यू हैव टू कवर नाउ लेट्स कम टू द सेकंड पार्ट व्हिच इज अबाउट सिलेबस दैट यू ऑट टू नो नॉट द सिलेबस दैट यू नो बट द सिलेबस दैट यू ऑट टू नो लेट मी राइट इट डाउन Now, this is the part of syllabus which has not been mentioned, number one. And secondly, there are very high chances that this UPSC is asked because UPSC has been asking questions from these areas regularly in other examinations. Therefore, we should be covering it, covering it in detail given that the amount of time that we have is a lot. Now, you have a lot of time, you will time waste or you will be able to study good things. I would recommend and I would be teaching you all these things on this YouTube channel only. So YouTube channel subscribe nahi kiya, subscribe kar lo so that the classes which are starting from 1st March, you're able to regularly attend those classes. Aapko notification wagera mil jai. Ab aate syllabus that you ought to know, kya kya isme hume cover karna hai. Number one, environment and ecology. Now this is one portion which is not mentioned in the syllabus. In 2015, there was one odd question from geography. But I'm expecting more questions, especially from environment and ecology part of geography this year. So, here is an area that is not in the syllabus, which you may not have to study a lot of people. But I want to cover it and I would recommend you also to cover it yourself as well. The second after this is geography, of course, connected with environment and ecology. Basics at least you should be aware about geography. You should be aware about them. Because last year, 2015, there was one question, but there might be three, four questions this time from geography. International relations. Now, this becomes a part of current affairs. But UPSC has been more focused on international relations lately. And therefore, I would recommend that we spend some time specially on international relations. Here, you can get 5-10 questions from here. It can be very, very fruitful. Again, this is not a part of the syllabus, so it can happen that many people don't have to read it. Ancient and Medieval History. Now, when we talk about history, there is a lot more focus on modern history because it's easier to remember, easier to teach. Ancient and Medieval, we ignore a little bit, a little bit less. But I would recommend and I would also be focusing a lot more on Ancient and Medieval History. 
पार्ट क्योंकि यहां से मुझे लगता है क्वेश्चन ज्यादा आने के चांसेस है यूपीएससी हैज बीन फोकसिंग अपॉन एंशियंट मेडिवल मिस्ट्री अलॉट मोर देन मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री ओके और लास्ट है हमारा बेसिक्स ऑफ साइंस नाउ दिस इज वन एरिया जो विच हैज बीन इग्नोर्ड बाय स्टूडेंट्स विच हैज बीन इग्नोर्ड बाय यूपीएससी आल्सो फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट लेटली वी आर विटनेसिंग दैट अ लॉट ऑफ बेसिक क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम साइंस हैव बीन आस्ड इन द एग्जामिनेशन तो हम लोग थोड़ा सा टाइम बेसिक्स ऑफ साइंस कवर करने में लगाएंगे कोर्स में भी मैंने बेसिक्स ऑफ साइंस भी पढ़ाया है कोर्स में जोग्राफी भी कवर किया है फॉर द सिंपल रीजन दैट आई वॉन्ट यू टू बी वन स्टेप अहेड ऑफ अदर्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम प्रिडिक्ट वॉट एरियाज कैन यू पी एस सी आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बिकॉज एक एक नंबर की एक एक क्वेश्चन की फाइट होने वाली है इट्स एन ऑब्जेक्टिव एग्जामिनेशन बहुत ज्यादा क्लोज कॉम्पिटिशन होगा ही होगा स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन वेटिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर दिस एग्जाम तो चांसेस बहुत हाई है कि कॉम्पिटिशन बहुत हैवी होने वाला है ठीक है If you have any doubts, if you have any questions, course की details चाहिए जो भी चाहिए you can go to my website anujindal.in or you can also send me a message or you can also call me on this number and talk to my counselors. इस पे call करके counselor से बात कर सकते हो double nine double nine four double six double two five ठीक है ना या फिर इस वेबसाइट पे जाओगे वहां पर भी ये नंबर मौजूद है वहां पे ईमेल आईडी वगैरह सब कुछ मिलेगा आपको यू कैन गेट इन टच विद मी देयर एस वेल ओके कोई क्वेश्चन है कोई डाउट है या कुछ इफ यू वांट मी टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग रिलेटेड टू एपीएफसी एग्जामिनेशन तो बता सकते हो आई विल ट्राई एंड डिस्कस इट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू कैन पुट इट इन दी कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड आई विल ट्राई एंड कवर इट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल विद दिस वी कम टू दी एंड ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन ऑन द सिलेबस जो मैंने आपको दो पार्ट में डिवाइड करके बताया है प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट योर प्रिपरेशन ऑल्सो इज अलाइंड विद दिस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द सिलेबस इट सेल्फ जिससे कि आपकी प्रिपरेशन ज्यादा बेटर हो आई सी यू वेरी सुन गाइज टिल देन ऑल द बेस्ट टेक केयर कीप स्टार्टिंग बाय जय हिंद